Welcome to another exciting episode of the Neville Goddard Podcast. My name is Mr. 2020, and today I want to invite you to something really cool. It's the 14-day mental diet experiment. And I'd love to hear your experiences with it, and I would love to imagine lovingly for you. So let's dive in. We're going to share what I think. I think is going to be the best mental diet experiment ever. And uh, I'm so curious about how you explore, expand, and experience this. All right, let's dive into the absolute bestest mental diet experiment. Alrighty, I would love to invite you to a cool little 14-day experiment. We're going to do a 14-day experiment. We're going to start with the Neville Goddard quote. I'm going to give you one really quick question, and this is going to rock your world. Ready? Neville Goddard says, Feed your mind a certain idea for one week, and you will change its structure. Continue for two weeks, and you will be well-fed on lovely thoughts. You see, this is a fictitious world, and you are its author. Nothing is impossible. It is all fiction anyway. So live nobly and dream beautiful dreams, for you are all imagination, and your human ima imagination is the Lord God, Jesus the Christ. Wow, that's a goodie. So, in Dream Driven Day, we had something really cool show up. And it was, how can I love you today? So I'm going to ask you, how can I love you today? Drop me an email. I would really love to know. How can I love you today? This is my experiment for the next 14 days. When I see anyone, when I see your email, when my phone rings, to begin with something really honorable and dignified, how can I love you today? Instead of starting with an argument, Instead of starting with an assertion about someone, instead of starting with a judgment, oh, there they are. I huh, wonder what they want today. Instead of imagining a problems right from the beginning, how can I love you today? You don't have to ask anyone that if you don't want to. I'd suggest that you don't. I'd suggest that you make it a way of perceiving. Because what is a state other than a way of perceiving? Happy loving husband. That's an identity. It's a way of perceiving. Garden girl. That's a way of perceiving. She couldn't perceive herself as a middle-aged woman who will never get the shit done. She perceives herself as garden girl and has endless energy. How can I love you today? I can promise you, if you explore that as a state, and you make that your primary question whenever you notice someone today, how can I love you? It seems to lead instantly for me to, what can I imagine lovingly about you, for you, about us today? Instead of imagining conflict, instead of imagining that poor guy, <laughs> how can I love you today? It's a state. And if you do that for 14 days, you're going to be feeding your mind with this. Like Neville Goddard said, feed your mind a certain idea for one week and you will change its structure. Continue for two weeks and you will be well fed on lovely thoughts. You see, this is a fictitious world and you are its author. Nothing is impossible. How can I love you today? I would love to hear from you. Feel free to leave a comment on the YouTubes if you watch this there. 
Feel free to share it. And feel free to dive in. 14 days, gang. What if you did this for 14 days? Such a simple little thing. Can you imagine how many ways this will bless you? I can tell you how it blesses me. How can I love you today? Make that a state. Let it be your primary question that you ask. Because a lot of people, they live in the state of, oh, that asshole. They live in a state of judgmental. And they end up judging and they end up being mental. How can I love you today? Let's dive in there. Thanks for listening to the Neville Goddard Podcast. Let us go into the silence. Be blessed and feel free to email me. I would love to take a moment and imagine lovingly for you. See ya.